Hey, Ready to start a Ventai Media Center? Yeah, let's see it. All right, here goes. First up, our first tape is Unusual Architecture. So this oh. is a new analog horror altogether. Architecture? Oh. Made by the same guy who did Analog Archives. Hmm. Didn't that turn out to be a failure? No, uh, he just completed it. The Channel oh. 7 was the failure. Oh, okay. I like it. I want his shit. Give me your video effects and crap. So he makes a new channel each time he starts a new project, huh? Um, yeah. Easier organization, I guess. So, let's take a look at what an impossible shape is. An impossible shape, known as the Penrose shape, is a geometric structure that cannot exist within three Euclidean space. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's how well we're going with. Such configurations also cannot exist within the limits of non-Euclidean space, such as the elliptical, spherical, or hyperbolic ge geometry. These common Penrose shapes include the Penrose tri-bar. The impossible cube the Penrose Staircase. Although they seem to be paradoxical in nature, it's merely our psyche that dictates their appearance. By disregarding the limitations of our minds, we can begin to co come to an understanding of the nature of these impossible shapes. Music stop! Something's gonna happen! It's not a positive nature. Now, for the impossible shapes in architecture. The concept of these was first devised by the psychologist Lionel Penrose and his son, mathematician Roger Penrose. The two believed their creations were impossible to recreate within the confines of our universe. Despite the incredible ingenuity of Lionel and Roger Penrose, oh fuck, never mind, artist MC Escher was responsible for popularizing the image of impossible shapes. His art often depicts buildings that incorporate these configurations, which is true. MC Escher did a lot of these. Such art opens up the possibility of real-world construction of impossible shapes. The usage is, oh, could be the gateway to unlocking perpetual motion ma machines. I don't know why I said madness. We're anticipating madness, aren't we? Impossible shapes have the capacity to lead us towards access to infinite energy. Ooh, I just got an idea. It requires a trained mind to conjecture the appearance of true possibility. Not even MC Asher was capable of this task. The key to the secrets of the universe lies within the brain. That's actually true on some level in a spiritual pseudoscience. Part and now we are constructing an impossible shape. By the way, Ooh. I should bring up the Twitter to this. They also have a Twitter with this as well. And I'll share with you photos. The following is how to successfully construct an impossible shape. You take the brain and you throw it out. In order to even begin the process, your mind must be, your mind must be first open to the possibility. So, to determine if your configuration is truly impossible, it's best to rotate this in a 3D space. Uh, meanwhile, I'll give you a photo of the Aventai Valley Media Center in 1969. It's relatively normal. Follow the instructions carefully, ignore mental distractions. Ooh. There are no faces. First up. Begin by extruding a rectangular prism of any material upwards relative to your coordinate axis. Note that the larger the object is, the less stable it will be after construction is finished. Step 2. Extrude a second rectangular prism perpendicular to the angle of the first. The lengths of both should be equal to one another. 
<laughs> you are. That was perfect. A third rectangular so prison scared. should be constructed within the vicinity of the construction. And then we do some photo fucking magic. God is not happy that you're trying to do this. We fucking corrupt the tape. And then voila! The Penrose Tri Bar should be complete. The Play Store. Now to rotate this shit and break everything. That was a skeleton. Ha, huh, there we go. Okay, Great. I understand next to nothing. So, Eventide has a Twitter, does it? Yep, and I'm looking at it. And, uh, now to share the first ever impossible construction in Eventide Valley. Okay, so the whole idea is this Eventide Corporation could actually make impossible shapes possible. It's it's a media center. It's just that. It just shows you the media. And I just realized that the Eventide Valley Media Center photo, uh, there's an eye. I did not realize that first. I think the Eventide uh, depends on powers from hell to make these impossible shit. I, I don't know. I'm just uh, going to come here, <laughs> Weird shit happens at Eventide Media Center. Now, don't get ahead of me, Sharp. Here's the thing that's uh, uh, funny. That Twitter post you posted of the uh, prism, right? Yes. Somebody said The Verge. It really does, though. That's the logo for the fucking Verge news media. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> the Verge is involved with Eventide. It's all a conspiracy. Oh, Jesus. Uh, right. Carlos Maza had to do with it. Alrighty then. Are you ready to get your local weather? Yes, uh, I need to I'll know if it's going to be forecast. raining tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Time for the Ocean View Forecast. Man, I really need a forecast. Let's see what we got here. All right. Tonight it will be raining children and dead old ladies. Currently, yeah, Misty Point is 65 Thank with God I fog. My <laughs> I forget. love how they mimic the retro weather channel. Don't forget the Misty Light uh, uh, Fog House is going to be open, and there's going to be some tours free for veterans, children, and senior citizens. Let's go, Gonzo. Yeah. Is it the Misty? Uh, oh fuck, I forgot. Misty Point Tourist Center for more information. Here is what's going on right now in uh, Lower and Upper New York, and Connecticut, Rhode Island, and uh, Massachusetts. I'm trying to remember. My geography is failing me. Yeah, there would be foggy rainy. with a chance oh, of yeah. There is no misty point on Yeah, Cape it's Cop. all fake. It's fake. It's fake, Kitty, okay? I, I know, I know. Just trying to... Monday will be I partly immersion. cloudy and windy with the highs in the upper 70s. That is your ocean view weather. Thanks, Gonzo. Thanks, Gonzo, the weatherman. I can always rely on you. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Why? To give you an update. Hey, Here's that's your... one of the three sisters. That's that's actually Cape Cod. What? Yeah. Now for an update. It's currently 59 degrees with thunderstorms in the area and the wind southwest of 42 miles an hour. There is also fog in the area. And currently it's storming up in Boston as well, while it's currently raining in, ha in Hartford, Connecticut. Fog is also present in the Albany area in New York. Exactly. We currently have a dense fog advisory tonight. Visibility is quarter mile or less. Will develop tonight, especially around the bodies of water and low-lying areas. Due to inclement resident conditions, residents of Misty Point, Indigo Shows, and Luca Cove are advised to remain indoors. So I don't live near Albany, New York, but this is what it looks like outside my room right now. I, I, I don't see it. Oh, the storm is starting to get a little bit strong. However, though, we do expect Monday to be partly cloudy with a, with a high of 78. Tuesday will be having showers, a little 53. And Wednesday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 80 degrees. 
Temperatures will be expected to be abnormal, above normal, and precipitation is expected to be above normal from late June to mid-July, according to our long-range outlook. Those venturing towards the coast should be cautious. The wind is now gusting to 68 miles an hour now. At the bottom, it's at 81 miles per hour. Yeah. Oh, dear. Looks like uh, it's starting to get a little bit crazy. And we're... What? Walk across the trees. Weather doesn't do that. Severe thunderstorm warning now in the has been issued for the area. High winds near the storm center may cause widespread damage. Take caution, avoid any coastal areas during this time. This is in effect until sunrise. Retur remain indoors and avoid venturing out until further notice. They may coastal flooding may pose a threat to the residents of the surrounding towns. Let's check our current conditions. Currently still 53 degrees at Misty Point. Severe thunderstorms in the area, and it looks like there's light coming through the television signals. Woo! They're Current. here! There is something rising out of the waters. The deluge brings forth the light in the ocean. The lighthouse is glowing. A face is now forming as the humidity is spiked to 99 degrees and is covering most of the coast of Massachusetts. Is that oh a God, hand? It's a sentient That's storm. A face. Where? I didn't see the face. The face was on the right hand side, but it's going to appear again. Looks like it's corrupted the TV. Is that a spider? Yeah, is that a giant web on the lighthouse? There it is. Ah, it's, it's no face. Scream. Ah, shit, I dropped something. Now it's worth pointing out that, uh... There's a photograph of the Misty Point Lighthouse back in 1943, and this is what it looked like. Oh, there's the face. Where? Go back. No, in the photo I posted in the chat. Oh, let me see. <sighs> I don't see a face. It's the, it's the clouds. It's in the chat. I still don't see a face. It just looks like a okay. party symbol. Oh, God, you're affected by Local 58. <laughs> you don't see a face? You know what's really oh, funny? Um, <laughs> if I'm correct, that's that's one of the um, Cape Cod lighthouses or one in Maine. Uh, that looks like one of those. Oh, fuck. I sincerely I, don't I see a face. Y'all crazy. All right, everybody. Do you want to uh, take a look at a good, complete safety guide for the family about nuclear safety? What the fuck? What do we need to? Okay. An official United States film by the Massachusetts Threat Defense Group. If a nuke hits the ground, you're all gonna die. We live in an ever-changing world. Unfortunately, with scientific advancement comes conflict. In this day and age, certain weapons can be used to wipe out entire cities with ease. IS, nuclear weapons. We must therefore face the reality that one day a nuclear attack on America can occur at any given moment. Know the danger of nuclear weapons to protect yourself and your family. Here are some warning signals. There are two types of signals to be prepared for, the alert signal and attack warning. The alert signal denotes a peacetime emergency while the attack warning signals the threat of America. Here's what your alert signal will sound like. Now for the attack warning. I mean, these are pretty informative. If you hear an attack warning siren, head for shelter right away. The Why is it a Triforce? The symbol on screen denotes the location of a fallout shelter. We have to use the power of wisdom. It's the anti-Triforce. The effects. Power. There are four distinct events that will occur when an atomic bomb detonates. I don't know why I said that. First is the flash. The first is a blinding flash of light that occurs instantaneously. 
then the heat wave that ignites anything in its path. You realize we're not going to be there to see any of that. And then the blast wave carrying dangerous debris and the sound of the explosion. And then the fallout. Radioactive fallout dropping from the explosion's mushroom cloud. This is one of the more deadly aspects of a nuclear explosion. Once the bomb drops, look away immediately. If you can see the bomb hit, you're a dead man. At that point, heading for cover will be futile. The most you can do is hope the heat kills you before the flash. Damn, at least it's honest. The aftermath. Duck and cover. Yeah, if you're not in shelter, you're just a dead man. There is no aftermath. There are no faces. There are no Once the faces. attack begins, there is no hope for survival. Fallout is the lethal material that it can be expelled from the cloud at the base. The effects and true nature of this are unknown. Fallout can seep into even the most impenetrable shelters. There is no escape. Yeah, if there are any cracks or faults in the, uh... I'm sorry, when was Fallout supposed to eat people? Apparently it does now. It's hungry. Now how to prepare for such an event. <laughs> yeah, there is no way. You can't be prepared for it. Once it begins, there's no way to stop it. An attack is inevitable, and as such, one should mentally prepare for the day it happens. Those who are ready will experience no pain in the transition. Transition? Oh, I think Those we're talking about the apocalypse. For the judgment. Yeah, we're definitely talking about the apocalypse. Were there skulls inside the mushroom cloud? It's important to inform your family, your friends, and neighbors to effectively prepare for a nuclear attack. As the United oh, I see Nations, face now. our dying spirits will live on. <laughs> now you see it. <laughs> there is also a photo accompanying this. An unregistered test from the Bikini Atoll area. I thought you were about to say Bikini Bottom. And this is uh, what we should really look for. That looks like a tentacle monster. Yeah, it's not a nuclear explosion. It's a giant jellyfish of sorts. Fun fact, there are theories out there that je there are jellyfish aliens. I'm not surprised. I love science. Now for a deep night in with Eventi Media Center. Oh boy, I hope it's a movie night. No, that comes later. Damn it! There will be Pop some Get minor topography growth involved in this. A lot of holes and uh, some unpleasant creatures. <laughs> Although, welcome. We're going to be signing off with WEBC TV. 26 Center Street, Eventide Valley, Massachusetts. Good night. Good night. Tide Valley Communications. I'm guessing. Hi. But what else? I hear the night. I hear Batman. Current time, 3.26 a.m. Welcome hey. to Deep Night. Deep Night.
the dominoes fall. Look at that retro ass look. The devil rise again. Now it's all the deep night bull programming. Bulletin. Tripog. Tripogop. I can't even pronounce that. Typography. Typography. And then Penrose Fields. Greenhouse. Yada yada yada. Yeah, Penrose Fields. That's that's from earlier, isn't it? Now let's take a look at the first region. Latest capture at 3.22 a.m. Location, Torrin Park. I'm going to see Slenderman. Uh, no, it's going to be a little bit weirder than that. Region 1 data. Uh, what's this shit? Quantity, diameter, depth. Okay. Torrin Park region has seen minor increase in growth since last inspection on March 20th. Growth. growth we're talking about the plants maybe second region okay there's holes in the ground what those holes mean nobody knows region 2 data growth 14 percent Updates. The Zenith Garden region is located 2.3 kilometers from Torrent Park. Still so known that the two regions are physically linked. Region oh. 3. A lot of holes in the ground. East King Street, 325 a.m. What sounds like Cthulhu? Growth at Growth 48%. Updates. East King Street region has seen a substantial growth since last inspection. Data suggests presence of seed growth. For region four. four. Damn. All these holes. Dig it up. Playground. Oh. Peepers. Region four data, twenty nine percent. That was only twenty nine percent growth. Updates. A connection to the East King. Oh, fuck. Oh! Fuck. Pods! That looked fucking scary. That was Region 5. Oh, something's coming out. What is it? It's like a skull? Earth? Worm? Mega, mega earthworm? They cause some kind of interference with electronics. That's for Region sure. Region 5. 83%. That th whatever it is, it's almost sprouted. Updates. None. Growth nearly complete. He was have hesitant to write that. Current time, 3.31 a.m. Something tells me you don't want to be around when growth is nearing completion. Logo. Now for the photo associated with that. I don't want to. Minor typography growth. Latest capture, 3.28 a.m. From the location at Venus Look Court. at the eyes. Yeah, there's eyes that come out of the holes. What are those things? Ricky, it's Carl. More Carl importantly, alien. what was that thing with, like, the webs that just, like, quickly appeared and vanished? I'm not sure. Are these the mole men? Man, if those are the mole men, I want to know what the fuck's going on with their eyes. 
look, they use clear eyes to make sure that their eyes are okay. Kitty, that's not the problem. The fact is, they have tentacles, like, fucking extending their eye sockets. Look, hentai animals need help, too, all right? Hentai animal? Yeah, because, you know, you're just gonna fucking <laughs> eye fuck something. It's hentai! Shove eyeball in place where it no need go. Ooh! Ooh. Watch you! God. Ricky, what do you say to all this? It looks like that thing from Small Soldiers. You know now what? for some guy who just Might recorded be. himself catching a midnight movie while channel surfing. Oh boy, midnight movies, yes! Yas, girl, yas. Yas, boy! First pit stop, now opening in Massachusetts. Currently at the Somberville local bank, it's 52 degrees at 1.23 a.m. And this one has the fucking audio from the Tours R Us old commercials. Just got the end of a horror movie. They're probably gonna repeat it. They normally they repeat this shit from this scene. Dimitri Clark. Director of photography, Xavier Under Undling. having an issue. I wonder if I has sh I should put up because this movie is about spiders. Hell yeah. What about warning about that or what? No, spiders are cool. Wait, so is this shit supposed to be about alien spiders then? Not sure about the alien part. Should I say these things grow natural in the earth? System, film board, costume design. Sponsored by the state of Massachusetts, from the way it sounds, the characters and events depicted in this photo, photo play are fictional, and any actual similarity to actual persons, living or dead, is purely coincidental. Oh, so they're implying they are dead. In memoram of those who lost their lives between December 1952 and October 1953, working under the Somber Film Company, the film is dedicated to the families and friends of those deceased. I'm guessing they actually went somewhere dangerous. Samantha Art. That was the main star. Ryan Barrett. Barrett. Shelby Bell. Jim Boyes. There's also a crack in the back. Lawrence Brown is also dead. He's also one of the main leads. Is this forming and forming as the credits go on? Um, it'll pop out. I'm warning you right now. Oh boy, okay, turning the volume. <sighs> oh! Some of the people involved in this are also dead. What's a movie start? In other words, we might get into the spooky. It's a lot of people that died. All nineteen fifty three. Some of these people were either young or, or really old, or like in their 50s. The cracks are falling. Ah, looks like they're repeating. Oh! Attack of the Somerville Spiders. 
Jason! Now. Ah, oh, don't forget to get your spider shield. Spider shield. Gonzo, I told you not to change the channel. So, in their world, giant spiders are attacking? A giant spider yeah. attacked Somberville. That's kind of cool. Yeah, and apparently they filmed a real movie with the giant spiders. All the people died, and they were still allowed to publish the movie. Yeah, it sounds like America. Which, by the way, there's a poster of... A big ass spider. Which yeah, is also available oh, because the Ventai Media spider. Center also has a Patreon. And a Teespring. I don't know, maybe a nuke fell and mutated the bugs. And now for the quick one that j was just posted about 20... About last night, uh, thank you for support. A look back at what we've been seeing, and some that we have yet to see. Like Weather Wonders. Made possible by supporters like you. Welcome to Eventide Valley. We hope you enjoy your stay. The atomic test. The West King Spider. Why spiders? Why do they have spiders? Forlorn home video. Bone structure. Oh, hell yeah. more of the eyeballs we hope you enjoy eventide valley gift shop and donation box now open jesus this is just an announcement for their teespring and their patreon like it's a five dollar fucking thing that you can join i've looked at it, it it's unique because I don't know any other analog horrors that actually sell merchandise of it a local 58 does yeah I don't know if he, it's been done for uh, Gemini Home Entertainment, but some people have thrown up mocks of like a box set of what happens. Uh, what? Bro, uh, I'm gonna tell you now. They need a Lethal Omen T-shirt. I know Lethal Omen is now an official game through Itch.io, and uh, yeah. there's also a fan game thrown up by Local 58 of Skywatch. You know, Watching, Skywatch, I think. yeah, Skywatch, yeah, that one's on Itch.io as well. Yeah. Those are probably fan made. Although, Lethal Omen is probably pretty fun. Hmm. But yeah, a little... I'll just conclude a recording fucking, for now. You and, got uh, a name like Lethal Omen, though. How did no one think to name a game this? Yeah. It's epic. Alright, let me... We gotta play this on stream on uh, Midnight Media one day. You think uh, so? Yeah, Lethal Omen. It'd tie in with Gonzo series. Oh, yeah. Let's take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with Surreal Broadcast. Ba -ba -da -ba. Commercial break! Elvira here. Stay tuned for more of the Fox Corps Light Halloween Bash. I've heard of raising spirits from the dead by incantations, right? <laughs> I did that by playing a record backwards. These evil people have just got to be stuck. What have you done to your stereo? I wanted the new one. Trick or Treat, rated R. Starts Friday, October 24th at theaters everywhere. <laughs> hey, pretty funny movie, huh? What are you, a nut? This is scary. <laughs> scary? This isn't scary. If you want horror, you gotta go with the classics. Dracula, Frankenstein, The Wolf Man. Ooh, spooky, huh? Oh, they're cool. I could send one to my mother. <laughs> You'd mail these? These are special editions. You're really starting to freak me out. Special edition stamps now at the post office. Some stamps you just can't lick. You ask for it. And now... Chucky's back. Oh, don't get out of the car. Don't get out of the car. I wish you off the movie like this. <laughs> 
Bad boy. More Chuck for the buck. Oh, yeah. Child's Play 2. Rated R. Starts Friday, November 9th at theaters everywhere. I've been seeing things. Hallucinations about Mary Lou Maloney. That girl who died at our school. Mary Lou Maloney is back for the prom. And she's going to make sure it's a night you'll never want to remember. Hello, Mary Lou. Prom Night 2. Rated R. Starts Friday at a theater near you. Check newspaper for feature times. Now back to the Fox Coors Light Halloween Bash. I long for somebody. Our first surreal broadcast is Arne from 1991 from the Burkhouse Forest Community School or Burke South or something like that no idea what this is so Arne it's got a spider most of these will deal with, will deal with spiders. Sorry. No, for weaving silk webs. They use the webs to catch insects. Yep. Yes. These are found worldwide on every continent except for Antarctica because it's too damn fucking cold. Too cold for spiders. These are the largest order of arachnids. Physical characteristics include legs. Basically, a size of 5 millimeters to 9 centimeters in length. It was believed that the tarantulas were the biggest. I'm pretty sure they are. Spires have four part pairs of legs, a body divided into two parts. Let's learn about some species of spiders. <laughs> First, we have the common American house spider. Mm. They're usually found in North America. Yep. They are com they're comb-footed spiders, commonly tied known for their webs. They're part of a group known as cobweb spiders, usually building the webs in, you know, crags, corners, basements. They're typically brown, tan, or grayish with darker brown patterns, going up to nine millimeters in size. Then you have the tarantula. <laughs> Big ol' hairy spider. They're usually found in these regions of the world. <laughs> They're comprised of a group of large, often hairy spiders of the family of Thera... I can't even pronounce that shit. No way. A thousand species have been identified currently. They're varying shades of brown and black. They're hairy and up to 28 centimeters. Oh god, I feel like I'm having a flashback to something, but I keep looking at the thing. Up. Do we want to know what the thing is? No, as an arachnophobe. They're found in the Burke South Forest. Where the fuck is that? They're extremely aggressive and they hunt during the night. Uh oh. Ooh. The music stopped! Bring the music they produce back! They audio frequencies that can cause audio-visual hallucinations. Do not believe anything you hear or see is real. If you find it, isolate it and call the police. They're black with orange stripes that grow up to three meters. Oh, so they're gigantic. The attack of the 50-foot spider. In case you've been bitten, going to the hospital will be useless. Just die. Isolate yourself in a room with a flammable liquid or the lighter, and, uh, yeah. Oh, so basically, have a flamethrower when you're buying gasoline. And Let it burn. yourself to death is basically what they're saying. Just get a flammable in, and like Usher says, let it burn. Just gonna stand there and watch me burn. Oh yeah, That's surreal so indeed. Right, surreal indeed. The way it hurts. What the fuck? No! 
No! No! No! No! You know what? I'm just. I'm gonna fuck off. <laughs> okay, stop. Stop right here. No, no, no. <laughs> we're not. We're not here to just make Kitty Rage quit on me. <laughs> yeah, it was about spiders. <laughs> it was about spiders. I hate you. Go to hell. <laughs> Fucking hell, all of you! I did not agree to this shit, Kitty. You can't blame me. Go to fucking hell! It was, it was just so immediate. <laughs> Spotter. <laughs> okay, now let's get back to the all serious. Of you. All of you. Next to real broadcast is a from 1987. It is called Radio. Okay, hold on. I gotta get back in the room. Give me a minute, because I just like yeeted myself out of there. <laughs> WXVC presents. Who's a brief introduction Jones? to radio. Radio works by transmitting and receiving electromagnetic waves. Well, it used to be. It's a, the radio sign is an electronic current. Oh, pff, never mind. A transmitter emits this field outward using a receiving wire. A beneficiary at that point gets the field and interprets it to the sounds heard on the radio. Usually. But we're now digital. And not even that. We have... Oh. Top secret, huh? Let's see what this is. In an unspecific year, a strange frequency was bouncing in the region of Berksau with anomalous properties. They produce strange images that can cause paranoia, intense fear and anxiety if stared at for a long time. If this frequency interrupts the transmission, stop it immediately. Let's listen to a sample of the frequency without its anomalous properties. Spotter in my room that- God damn it! <laughs> The frequency shows interaction with electronic devices like television and radio. The following experiment was recorded in... No idea what the fuck that means. EP? LP? What? SP? Sleep mode? Eh. Oh, this is... Fucking... Real sleep. There are no faces. There are no faces. No abnormalities detected. Nothing to note. Just spider murder. <laughs> now part oh. two of three. Is there like a birthday party in the background of it? Like, oh. Hey look, the TV just turned on. Is that a face on the TV? Oops. Somebody bumped the camera. Must be a little sister. They're here. Abnormalities Thanks, detected. Contact. Contact who, bitch? Now for another part of the television experiment. I know what you did. Well, that's not creepy. Your mama. There better be not a jump scare. Cause I, I don't hate know. jump scares. I will fucking scream like a little girl if there is jump scares. There's no jump scares. There is gonna be a I jump scare! There's a hand coming out of the TV, but we don't know, uh... <coughs> Shit! Do not run away from your sins. Listen. I will die a sinner. I will be a sinner. Fuck you. The hell is surreal trying to show? Is it just a bunch of supernatural crap? It's it's like the clown movie. The spirits are talking. Alright. Coming up next is an unusual tour guide from the years of 1989 to 1991. Oh boy. When I was born. Who the fuck is texting me? Oh, it's her. Let's, uh... Let's see what this tour guide has to offer. Sunprise Tourism Company. Senpai? Sunprise. Oh, it's Are you tired of the city? 
you want something more natural and relaxing? Maybe yeah. you should come to die. West Virginia. The Berksal Forest. Rockersville, Virginia. 13 branch. <laughs> Being the biggest forest in the... Oh, fuck. Okay, Can I have the soundtrack? In this informative tape, you will see the accommodations, pathways, campsite, safety rules, and so much more. It sounds like Papa Don't Preach. First up, accommodations. First, let's take a look at Burke South, a small town next to Burke South Forest that will attend all of your necessities. There are some motels in the city, like the Penheim by the Pine Club. Ch what? Pine the Chub? Pine Hub. Pine Hub. Oh, I miss. I, I didn't see that E. Oh, there's some restrictions. You should not leave your hotel after midnight. You do not turn on your television after midnight. The infringement of these rules will be resulting in federal law. I fucking forgot. God, that fucking damn it. I was gonna change the channel. Part two. Now, pathways. Ooh, cookies are done. Heaven okay. or hell. I got chocolate chip. I pulled them right out of the oven. Map not to scale. That's me drowning in the water. Here are some Help pathways me. of the Burke South Forest, which has three pathways. Berg South Forest, there's lots of things to do. Let's see about the most famous spots in the forest. Your mama. I thought that was for the video! <laughs> First is Conwin Cove Lake. With the most crystal water, Conwin Cove Lake is the best for both fishing and swimming. A brew by Jason Voorhees. <laughs> yeah, it does look like Camp Crystal Lake. Green yeah, I, greenhouse. I got a from there. <laughs> the most exotic and beautiful plants live here. Guys, Not let's me. go camping! The Berg South Forest Observation Tower. A spectacular view of the Berg South Forest. It's and really a guy who dies there. every night. <laughs> if, those things hunt at, if those things hunt at night, I doubt a guard tower is all that safe. Campsites. Oh, fuck. Our tape's going. Regrets are had. Gonzo, what happened to the tape? You said it was fine. Oh, no, never mind. Looks like it's Gonzo, not I don't own. want to see your home movies of you going to Camp Crystal Lake when you were seven. It's not night, it's morning, so oh. there's that. Let's try to get this tape back together. Somebody try to tape over this fucking thing. Slap the TV. This is Camp A, situated 10 meters of the Cohen Cove Lake. A stunning view, perhaps to those who want to enjoy the lake. Those won't keep you safe. Camp C is situated deep in the woods, perfect for those who want to experience the wilderness of the forest. You're better off inside a cabin. Now what? Safety rules. About the restrict area. Nine thirty-two p.m. There's a guy in the guard tower, I guess. Meter in the ghost light. Thanks. Yeah. That tells me a lot. Spooky. Now, hey, blood reds. The east side of the Burke South Forest is closed due to dan dangerous animals like bear, snakes, and dangerous flora. Oh yeah, and mind reading spiders. And For dangerous safety, fences. Stay 200 meters away from this fence. 200 meters. What's wrong with the fence? If you notice anything strange, feel that you are in danger or lost, stay calm and follow the following instructions. Die. 
Call the authorities. Do not hesitate. Talk to the nearest guard. They'll always be there for you. Why does that a creepy crude image of a police officer? Try to find a pathway. If lost, try to find one the quickest way possible. Check the time. If it's past midnight, hide immediately. So what's going on exactly? Is somebody gonna eat somebody? Or they're camping? No, no, we're about to about to find out. It's ten fifty seven PM. Radio tower turned green. Let's see if we can do one more safety tip. If you hear strange sounds, cover your he ears. Oh fuck, spelling error. The effects of the sound in humans is still unknown. Oh fuck. Mm. Weebs. Web. I love that said weebs too. God damn it. The attack of the killer weebs. Hello, my lady. It's three minutes Hello, till midnight. Awesome. Hi. They're screaming. That's a guy being eaten alive by those things, probably. Now the clothes. If you find clothes all over the floor and in the trees, get out immediately. Horn dogs are around. If you find eyes in the darkness, there's no chance to survive. So, there's a whole gang of public nudists? No, it's worse. They found you. Resistance is futile. Succumb, Succumb to, the to the mother. mother. 12 p.m. There are the eyes. What is it? I don't know. Whatever the hell these things are. I feel sorry for the guy in the guard tower. He's not very protected. It's a real broadcast. I wonder if these are all done by different people or the same guy. Same guy. They're all by a guy named Red Diamond. So, wait. All of the analog horrors we've seen are by that guy? No. They're all done by individual people. This one is done by someone by different. Okay. Local 58 was by Chris Staub. Uh, Channel 7, Analog, Ho Analog Archives, and Event Time Media Center was by Adrian Chick. Gemini Home Entertainment was uh, by a guy named uh, Remy Abode. And this particular one, Surreal Broadcast, done by a username named Red Diamond. Now for Tales of Burke South from 19... What was it? 88. There's some like weird anime sounds outside my house. Ah, oh, another one from the Don't uh, open the door. Oh, sounds. Cool. Don't open the door. It's the weebs. The waifu will get you. Well, it's really weird because like we live next to these like really weird hillbilly people and the cops came like twice over there recently. So, ooh. Yeah, they're probably doing weird shit. Like well, a video. video. Give me your video editing stuff, please, please. I have no idea. I may have to look into it. Freaking Burke's out, man. For kids. Burke's out is an old place, rich with stories and traditions. Let's Mind learn about spiders. the origins of Burke's out and the stories. Oh, mama mia. Oh, From 1880 to 1921. In the past, the region was in its... M uh, I'm fucking up. Because I'm getting distracted by something else. Yeah, but this started out as farmland. They really did farm the Burks out. Fucking leak spin. Unfortunately, yes, they found the something not suitable for such weak minds. Little now Jimmy. for the first story, The little, Adventures little, of Little Jimmy. The cows. Oh, 
Little Jimmy, Jimmy was, white. was a happy boy and a happy family. One day, Jimmy got out to play in the forest, even though he knew a thunderstorm was coming. That does not look like a thunderstorm. The volcano erupted. He ran and ran through the woods, happy as ever. How much time has it passed? Minutes, hours, days? He didn't care. So little Jimmy looked up and saw those scary clouds coming after him and knew it was time to go home. But he's in Burke's out. He got so distracted running through the forest, he forgot which way was home. He remembered something that his dad said to him, to never get out of the house during a thunderstorm. Or something really bad is going to happen. He saw an, observ an observation tower and thought he'd be safe there. As Jimmy walked through the forest in the direction of the observation tower, he heard some raindrops and his anxiety got bigger and bigger. Oh, fuck. He encounters something. Something he will never forget. The hole. Look closer, Jimmy. What do you see? What lies down there? The mother. <laughs> no. The three eyeballs. Little Jimmy saw a friend. Now for the second story, a wacky television. I don't think Jimmy's going to remember because Jimmy's not around anymore. In the first South Community School, the teacher of the younger students left the classroom and advised the students that do not touch the television during the storm. The very stubborn students decided to turn it on. Mm hmm. Well, look what the you did. The static coming from the television invaded the room. After a while, two hands popped out. It's the awesome. same TV. The students were scared and started screaming. The teacher ran into the room to turn the television off, but after the television unplugged it, it was still on. The secretary who was passing by heard the screams and decided to see what was going on. She screamed when she saw all the students and the teacher convulsing on the floor. Isn't convulsing like twitching or some shit? Oh, way Seems worse than that. You're just having, like, violent now? muscle spasms. Our and savior. Sparking out on the floor, yeah. That was not good. On the night of August 25th, 1921, something came to Earth. Aliens. The vibrant green burning the eyes of those who dare look at it. It was so beautiful. It was calling me. It is calling me. It is calling me. The thing came and in its womb it carried the own devil's daughter. This has been the tales of Burke's out. Burke's out doesn't seem like a place you want to visit. Now for the next broadcast from Channel 72. This one is of an incident from 1989.
WXVC TV 72 Access. It's now 1.53, oh, 1.54 p.m. It's currently 59 degrees. And it's a relatively foggy night. Now for a commercial break. Da -da -da -da. Commercial break. We're not really doing it. Ah, let's see the new super discounts. Oh, oh shit, that tent should not be $900. I give you 20. Wild hike. What? Oh. Today, 12th of August, 1989, 10.35 p.m. local. In the hospital of Berksau, a patient demonstrated strange symptoms caused by an animal bite. It's Corona! The animal has to be has yet to be identified. Please, if you are feeling any of these symptoms, such as shaking, high fever, hallucinations, nonsensical speak, or abnormal abnormalities in the eyes, please go to the nearest hospital. Any suspicious behavior must be reported to the police. Stay tuned for further information. And they just didn't bother to air everything. They just didn't even bother to continue with any fucking commercial. They just left it blank. Tonight's schedule, yep. Beyond the Paranormal by James Hutt. Local forecast at 12.30 and at 12.45, Cinema Night. We're going to be showing the thing. A local authority issued a blue warning for your area. Follow these instructions. Okay, what are they? They're issuing one for Bergsau, Great Fields, and Groove Cross. Effective until 6 a.m. Standing by. Yeah, I like how you can hear what's going on in the background, too. I have it turned down. All residents of Burke Sound must act now. Remain indoors. Don't investigate any noises from outside. Close all windows. Don't panic. Nothing there. Forget about what you hear. Any suspicious behavior will be reported to the police and must be reported to the police. Well, we lost the signal. We're getting a signal. Smack the TV. Gunshots is heard throughout Burke's out. That's a red moon. The balloon is red. Blood moon. It's a purple area now. Effective immediately. And this is a toned down version of DES tones. Although it's 1989, I don't. I can't remember if we had the EBS or EAS and when. Look outside. The police is authorized to exterminate anyone at the streets in this moment. Uh, Twenty-four people confirmed dead. Six police officers. Twelve civilians. But that's 18. What's the others? That must be a that must be a police traffic cam. Or the dash camera. The following message is being broadcast from the Burksout Hospital. There is something wrong with they. Or them? Their eyes are indescribable. Indescribable. The situation is out of control. Please help us. Something waked up. Woke up. I did remember that this guy is, uh, his English isn't the best. In the forest. Our savior is angry. They are coming from the fields. They are coming oh. from the fields. Oh! What the fuck? They ain't staying in the forest no more. Got a gun. I don't think a gun's gonna help you. Burn him! 1989 incident. A 
I wonder if this is in German. If the guy who made this is in Germany. Could be. He would have had to flip the video so that it looks like he's an American car. Uh, European... European countries drive on the right-hand side. It's the United Kingdom that drives on the left-hand side. Oh. I thought everybody else dro drove on the we, other side. We of drive. The we Some drive on the left-hand side too. Ugh. Some countries do. Now for the surreal broadcast of the Cursed Days from 1959. This one was posted fairly recent. January 15th, 1959. Every night at midnight, since I moved into my father's house, the sound echoes through the forest. That's a sonar. I have decided that I will register everything about the sound in a video. I will try to find its origin and what it is. Day three. Today the sound came back again, but this time I could catch something weird with the camera. Take a look. It is certainly not a car since there are no roads in the forest. What could it be? I would be going to that same spot with hope to find answers. Don't do that. Day four. When I arrived in the fields, I encountered something strange. A cop was there. I asked him what was going on. He said a man disappeared near the fields. He said to call him if I noticed suspicious behavior. Day 7. I woke up today to be pleasured with a vision straight up from hell. As I walked outside, webs covered the trees everywhere around my house. A normal spider could not do that amount of webs in one night. Did you hear that sound? It's like a door open. Yeah. Kind of afraid to look, so I cover my hand. Day 11. Just kind of afraid of any sort of jump scare or shit. Some nights the sound appears to be farther away. On some, it appears to be closer. But never as a close never as close as it was it was today. Whatever was making that sound while I outside my house, I immediately got up, took my camera, ran outside. And what I got It's right there staring at her. I'm dead now. Day 22. Since that night, I can't stop thinking about that thing. I saw the lights again in the fields, but this time it was more than one. There were a lot. Whatever that thing was, there was more than one. Day 31. As I walked through the fields, going deeper into the east side, I found more strange webs. I found something in the woods near the WXVC radio station. A hole, but it didn't seem like it was excavated. It was like an impact or something. I stopped and decided to look inside. Oh, hell no. It's Jimmy. It's the tale of Crazy Jimmy. All that I remember is that this bright green light came and then everything went black. Well, never mind, it's the savior. Fortunately, my camera kept recording as I passed out. The image is completely distorted, but it's recording everything. The sound. No.
Day 36. She's still alive, Jesus. I'm not the same anymore. I can't remember things anymore. I can't think. And it's getting worse. She was bit. Day 47. Today I looked at the mirror and didn't recognize the person who I was looking at. There's no more taste in food. Sleep just makes me more tired. It's all crooked now. Day 65. They are there, always watching me. Can you see it too? I see them every time I blink, every time I think, every time I sleep. Day 67. That police officer came by my house to ask questions about the man's disappearance. But as soon as he entered, I knew what I had to do because my savior said so. May he rest in peace. She fucking murdered him. There's no day. It's 1959 still. Just day. That was fun. Day. <laughs> what day is it? Day. Axe day. I must ask you a question, but I will shave it. Now they lost track of time. Day! Day, but slightly angled. <gasps> He's burning the bodies? Tonight the forest will burn. I'm gonna get you, Gonzo. I don't live in the forest, dumbass. <laughs> I'm gonna jump did she, here. Did she break free from their mind control or something? Now she's trying to destroy the whatever's in the forest. The cursed days with happy music. Yeah, cause that was great. Such a happy story. Oh, great, the green light. Loving that. Is that it? That's it. Damn. They definitely know how to leave you wanting more. Damn, who's been giving you all these analogs anyways? Uh, mainly I've been coming across them myself. These, uh, this particular one, um, I came across looking around the, uh, Analog Core, uh, Reddits. And I believe it ended up also getting suggested. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues.